For those of you that have a 7300, 7, when you went to Windows and then you opened up Spectrum Display, uh, did you end up with a blank Spectrum Display, nothing showing? Yeah, yes, that's what happened to me. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to change your baud yeah, rate right. to 115,200 bytes. And to do that, you have to do it in three different places. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is uh, uh, go to, uh, and uh, hopefully my share is, the screen is shared, and you can see my mouse is moving around, and you can see the uh, config, that my mouse is over the config in M1MM, correct? Okay, open up M1MM, go up to configure ports, the first one. And of course, you've configured your uh, ICOM 7300, uh, presumably to a COM port. You've uh, identified the radio. And I want you to hit the word set. And in the speed, in the window, uh, assuming you can see this window, it says, in my case, 115.2. You probably have uh, 9600 or 4800. You need to have high speed. Okay, you may have to turn your radio off at some point here while we do this. So uh, actually turn your radio off uh, and press OK. And when you've done that, go ahead and just check and make sure the setting took. Because uh, I, I found out the hard way that if the radio has the CAT control in case, this won't change the uh, bot speed. Uh, so uh, 15 to, and if you got that back, you are good to go. You've configured M1MM for that speed. The next thing you need to do is go to your device manager. Now, the easiest way to find your device manager, and again, I'm presuming this screen is showing up. Uh, I clicked in the bottom uh, search window on Windows 10, and I'm going to type device manager. Uh, when you do that, you'll get your all your devices. Uh, slide down. These are in alphabetical order. Come down to port. And you may have many ports active, but the one that uh, ICOM uses is the Silicon Labs uh, bridge. So go ahead and click that one. By the way, it'll tell you what port you're on. Uh, double click on that one. Again, hopefully the window is showing up. If not, somebody tell me. It so. is. And uh, hit port settings and make sure you have that set at 15, <coughs> 115, two, uh, 115,200. If it's not there, change it. It's a drop down window, find 115,200. Press OK. Okay, how did you get to that spot? Okay, Which easy port? to do, I'll do it again. I went path? down to the Windows search window. This is the easiest way I know to find device manager. And I typed device manager in the little window down at the bottom. That brought up device manager, a window. You could go to settings to get to this also, by the way. Now you slide down until you find the word ports. Open up the Silicon Lab port, open up the port settings, and I'll tell you, uh, all the configuration stuff you really need to know. When you were setting the uh, N1MM, you had to know the number of data bits and the number of parity uh, bits and the number of stop bits and flow control, et cetera. They're all on this page. So anyway, those are two of the three things you need to do. Mike, I'm wondering why I'm not seeing ports. I go from because uh, print for the to same reason, process. Well, for the same reason that you couldn't see what uh, COM ports were being broadcasted when you were in M1MM. And I don't know how, I, I, when I heard you say that, I was kind of perplexed. Oh, you don't have the radio on. Don't have the radio on, that was it. Okay. So let me see. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's work that offline. Yeah, yeah. But th yeah. So there's three things you have to do. You have to change the M1MM configurer file for, uh, for a bot speed for the radio. You have to make sure your device port is set up for that same speed. The third thing you do, and I can't display it uh, conveniently, but uh, I need to go to the radio. So when I, I need you to go to the radio. You press menu at the bottom. When you press menu at the bottom, you'll see a bunch of menus. The menu I want you to hit is set, S-E-T. Set is in the bottom right corner, set. Press that once. You will get a bunch of things. It'll start out at the top under tone control, uh, transmit bandwidth function connectors. I want you to press connectors once. Once you've predict, uh, once you've connected, once you've gotten to connectors, I want you to use the up down arrow until you get to CIV. CIV. It's on the second page. So the first page at the very top starts out with uh, ACC, USB IF uh, output level, etc. Uh, I want you to, or I guess actually the first page is ACC USB output select. 
The next page is ACC USB IF output level. The third page starts out with data mod, external keypad, and then the third one down is CIV. I want you to press CIV. Okay, when you do CIV, don't get uh, nabbered with the first thing that says CIV baud rate. I want you to go down until you see CIV USB baud rate because you're probably not using a CIV car cord. You're probably using a single wire going between your radio and the uh, computer. So type the, find the USB baud rate and that probably either reads 4,800 or 9,600. I want you to change that to 115 too. When you do those three things, you should have uh, a spectroscope show up. Mike, I, I have one question going back to the N1MM. Yeah. And when we hit set, we're still yep. on the hardware tab and hit set and you get the pop-up screen showing a speed of 115, 200. I notice in a dialog box down below, it talks about uh, icon settings being always off, but mine are showing always, always on. Do I need to change those to always off or does it matter? No, it doesn't. It absolutely matters. They should be always off. Always off. Yep. Okay. Now, reading across my screen, I have 115.2. I have no parity, eight bits, one stop bit. Uh, my DTR pin four is off. Uh, my RTS pin seven is off. The ICOM code is a 94. I just have one radio. Uh, I defaulted on uh, 30 microseconds for the uh, milliseconds, excuse me, for the uh, PPT delay. And I checkboxed, the only checkbox is PTP to radio command digital mode. Digital and mode. that may or may not be, uh, that's interesting, but that's what I have it at. I have no foot strip, no foot switch, and no radio pulling rate, and uh, that's what I have. So I'm gonna press okay. Uh, I have set all three things. I have a spectrum display that shows what uh, Doug was showing, which was that there's actually signals, at least on the band I'm on, which is 40 meters. And I guess what I should do is I should slide this over here like this so you can see it. So uh, here's, my, uh, here's my spectrum scope, and I've got a signal. I've actually got a couple 40 meter signals in the sideband band, side band. And, and that spectrum scope only works for ICOM radios? No, it works for everything. Really? Yeah. Uh, no, it does, does not work for all radios. It works. Oh, sorry. The ICOM 7300, it works for the flex radios and it may, may work for some others. Uh, you'd have to check the documentation of N1MM. Yeah, because I haven't been able to get, I haven't been able to get it to do anything for me uh, on my ASU. Problem. A question when you get a chance. Okay, question, go ahead. Um, I'm getting an error message that my radio stopped responding and it tells me to go to my band map and yeah. try to reset my radio. Yeah, what it didn't what it didn't do at this particular point is you don't have all three baud rates the same. Okay. And I have a seventy one hundred. Uh well seventy one hundred and the seventy three hundred have the same phenomenology with regards to how they handle the CIV and, and the like. Uh, their mechanism for setting it's a little bit different, uh, but uh, hold the thought uh, that I, I've run into that error. That error was found, uh, uh, for example, I'll get that error when I go back and uh, use WSJT outside of M1MM. So that's what I'm thinking that is. Somewhere between those three settings, what you have in M1MM, what you have in your port setting, and what's on the radio, one of those is different than the other two. Okay, and, and going uh, to the band map didn't help me any. Okay, because because my uh, seventy one hundred does not offer me a CIV baud rate of eleven fifth or eleven fifteen whatever. Try going to the largest one you have, and then going back to your other two settings and match it to that. Okay, uh, the, the bottom. And I've taken too much time. I think all I really want to say is, if you want the spectrum scope to work, you need to up the baud rate. The standard baud rate that we typically use on the 90 on the 7300, which is either 4800 or 9600, does not seem to work.